Is my hair bad enough for today? I think this is the worst I can make. Oh yeah, that's much worse. That's even better. All right, anyways. Hello, everybody. My name is William, and welcome back to another Roblox Bee Swarm Simulator video, where today I would like to show you all how to get treats fast. Yes, yes, I know. It's been absolutely forever since my last Bee Swarm Simulator video, which is understandable because there hasn't been anything new in the game, and I've kind of run out of ideas and kind of got, you know, kind of bored, lost interest in the game, etc., etc. So in the past few days, I've Kind of brainstormed a bunch of ideas so that was kind of helpful so now i have content to make um on bee swarm simulator because that's really all you guys watch on my channel i do make roblox horror game videos and pet simulator x videos if you guys want to see those on my channel by the way i apologize for not posting much anyways enough stalling let's get in uh into the video here so there are different ways to get treats quickly so i'm gonna start out with the first one on my list here is sunflower seeds because while well, i i kind of prioritize sunflower seeds and i'm just gonna tell you all the best ways that i can get them first First thing you're gonna want to try, obviously, is using sprouts. And no, I don't mean in the pepper patch. I highly suggest doing sprouts in the sunflower field because you can break them easier and I believe they give you slightly more, if not the same amount of sunflower seeds as the pepper patch or, uh, yeah, just the pepper patch as much as the pepper patch gives you. I've said pepper patch about five times in that sentence. So yeah, really just a bunch of sprouts in the sunflower field helps. My camera's too high up. Is that better? And now another way to get sunflower seeds quickly is by doing stick- no- Sorry, I meant windy bees. Windy bees are a good way to get sunflower seeds because windy bees actually drop you sunflower seeds upon defeating windy bees. So let's quickly summon a windy bee right now and let's see if we get one. Yes, we did. So we got to go find it real quick. Shouldn't be too difficult to find right up here in the mountaintop here. I should probably go get the demon mask. All right, here we go. We have the demon mask now. So we're going to go ahead and fight the windy bee. And upon defeating the windy bee, it should drop us a load of sunflower seeds. Well, not a load, but you get the point. So there we go. We just got a bunch of tickets and sunflower seeds. We got 15 sunflower seeds from that one windy bee takedown. That's one down out of a lot of windy bees that we're gonna do, so yeah. And this windy bee gives us how many sunflower seeds? It should be 20, 25, 15 again, don't know. Depends, it's really random. Uh, well, it depends on loot luck, I guess. Um, we got 15 sunflower seeds again, which isn't terrible, it's still pretty good. But you get my point, right? I'm enough, like, wasting time on windy bees, right? So, pretty much, that's about about it. I say pretty much too much. I'm sorry about that. I won't do that. Another good way to get sunflower seeds quickly is by doing bug runs. And what a bug run is, is when you go around and defeat every single bug that you can. But like bug runs in general will get you like, I'd say a thousand sunflower seeds, but there is one key way to get sunflower seeds quickly. This is the best way. Nothing beats this at all. This is incredibly useful and it is called macroing. And what macroing is, is it's like an auto hotkey script. I guess you could call it, um, where it automatically presses buttons on your keyboard for you, and you can just overnight the game. Like, hold on, let me try my sunflower macro real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and activate it, so it's now activated, right? So it should reset me. No, I've gotta do it manually real quick. I forgot, I just gotta reset one time, and then I can start it. All right, so now my hands are off the keyboard, as you can probably see, because my webcam's on. Look at that, now it's just moving around and doing its own thing. It's automatically doing everything for me, and I don't have to do anything, and I just get sunflower seeds upon sunflower seeds upon sunflower seeds all night, right? If you just AFK this throughout the day or night while you're at school because the school year is starting back up, you can just take your hands off your keyboard and this does this for you and it will collect you sunflower seeds from the sunflower field instead of you having to stand here for hours collecting sunflower seeds. So it's really handy to have. So really sunflower field mining or macroing, either one, bug runs and windy bee are the three fastest ways that I know of that you can get your yourself sunflower seeds. Now, moving on to pineapples. Really, the fastest way to get pineapples, there really isn't a great one apart from just using sprouts in the pineapple field. That and also bug runs, but I specifically would tell you just, like, find if you... There really is no good way to get pineapples, I guess. Really, the fastest way that I can think of would just be to use sprouts because there really isn't anything that goes to the pineapple patch or drops pineapples fast enough to beat out, um, using, you know, sprouts. I don't I don't think there's a pineapple patch macro. There might be. If you find one, just let me know in the comments below. But I don't think there is a macro for it. But who knows? You could make one or you could find one. So I'd say macroing in the, in the uh, pineapple patch would be the fastest way. But also sprouts would be the fastest way as well. And the only fastest way that I know without macroing or auto hotkeying or something like that. Because macroing and auto hotkey, they're kind of different. But they're about the same thing. Auto hotkey is an entirely different software. Now, next up we have on our list are blueberries. 
and there is a lot of interesting ways to get blueberries quickly. Um, I know a lot of them because I was a blue hive for a time, and I really wanted to get a bunch of gifted tadpole bees, which I learned how to get blueberries fast after I switched from being blue. So like with blueberries, by far I'd say the easiest and fastest way to get blueberries is by macroing actually in the pine tree forest. And the pine tree forest does drop a load of blueberries, but also another reason why you'd want to use the pineapple, sorry, not the pineapple, the pine tree patch is because they have mantises and the werewolves. So you get extra items like glue and glitter so you can craft things and get blueberries quickly at the same time. So it's honestly the best way to get yourself blueberries because you get other items as well and it's the fastest way. So there's pine tree macros for this. Um, really, that's the best way to get blueberries apart from sprouts inside of not the pine tree forest, stump feel. Take down your stump snail, right? Defeat your stump snail. And if you do sprouts here rather than anywhere else, you're going to get so many more blueberries because the field is so small and all of your blueberries aren't like miles from you. They're like right next to each other and one tornado can pick them all up pretty much. So if you just spam sprouts in this field right here, you can get a load and I mean a load of blueberries. You barely miss any of them. So best field for sprouts when it comes to blueberries would be right here. The one and only stump field. Hello, Mr stump snail i have missed this game but also i have not at the same time because the luck in this game is stupid i'm so bad at this game because of the luck ah it's annoying well i mean it's kind of one of the game's you know core functions so i'm not really going to complain about it that much also bug runs work for blueberries and pineapples quickly bug runs work for getting treats overall in a broad range very quickly very easily they're the best way to get treats in general is bug run macros now last but not least we have strawberries this one is very interesting because the fastest way to get strawberries from sprouts has two ways, apparently. People prefer the strawberry field, but then some people prefer the pepper patch. But the thing about it is the pepper patch, your bag fills quickly, right? You get more strawberries, more everything out of the pepper patch than you do from the strawberry field. So the pepper patch by far is better for getting strawberries quickly, but your bag fills in like seconds. So it's it's kind of like a, mm, it's like a 50, whichever one. One, you know, I prefer the pepper patch, so I just say pepper patch is the fastest way to get strawberries from sprouts. Now, you can also macro strawberries by doing a strawberry field macro, and you get like 5,000 strawberries per night. That's what I would get with my old red hive. You get 5,000 strawberries per night with the strawberry field macro. Like, it, it varies on the amount of time that you, um, you know, macro for. Like, let's say you sleep for 10 hours, right? That's a long time. Um, you're gonna get like 5,000... 500 strawberries it's like nine hours i don't know 5000 4500 4800 4900 who knows it's really random but you can expect somewhere around on average 5000 strawberries per night also bug runs help you get strawberries very quickly so really that's about it how to get treats quickly i know i know a lot of them are macroing but that's really the that's the hard truth about it you macros are incredibly efficient and they kind of taken over bee swarm simulator so if you have macros, those are the best fields to macro for those specific treats. And also if you're using sprouts, those are the best fields for sprouts. So I made sure to keep it even between macro and legitimate play. So with all that said, I hope you all did enjoy this video. Do not forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I hope you all will check out my horror game videos and my Pet Simulator X videos. I do really random stuff every now and then, but I do mostly Bee Swarm Simulator. I kind of want to switch from Bee Game to something else, but I won't. Don't worry. I'll still make a few Bee swarm videos every now and then. So uh yeah, good bye.